Now, as we all know, skill shortages are the bane of the motor industry. And it's the same for many other sectors in the skilled part of the economy as well. Now, the Mayor of London is attempting to do something about this. We're here at this state-of-the-art STEM centre, which he paid £4 million for. It's at Waltham Forest College here in North East London. It's going to be a great benefit to young people and employers in this part of the city. Specialising in automotive, it also caters for engineering and science students. This place has got some serious kit. 3D printers, top-of-the-range computer-operated lathes, and all this. The college won the funding in a competitive bid process, and as Paul Butler, the Chair of Governors, explains, without that money, this centre would never have happened. We would not have been able to have developed this site without uh, support from the Mayor's office, put bluntly. We were just not in a position to, to be able to afford it. So that's been absolutely key to us being able to establish the centre. North East London is the home to an extraordinarily diverse and economically deprived community. An extremely chuffed principal told me how important this development was for local people. They come with different skills, so our role is to develop those skills for the modern world. And this centre is part of this. We have an arts centre, we have hospitality and catering, we train people to go into nursing degrees. We have hair and beauty, which I've mentioned, business and IT. To work in the motor industry now, students need IT because certainly my computer, my car keeps talking at me and they need to be able to mend it for me when it goes wrong. So it's not just the old skills, it's additional skills on top. So it, it can give them a fantastic future, which can be in the motor industry, but it can go much wider than that because those are transferable skills to go elsewhere. The investment from the Mayor goes against the grain from national government policy for industry and further education. Now, speaking to an appreciative audience from the local business community, Deputy Mayor Jules Pipe was eager to take credit where it was due. And I'm, I'm pleased that in both these themes, boosting productivity, supporting social mobility, they're real priorities for London's further education sector. And I'm really pleased that uh, here in London, Waltham Forest College is demonstrating through its new centre how it's rising to the challenges that lie ahead for Londoners. So I look forward to continuing to work with you all to helping making sure that London is truly a city for all Londoners, um, and particularly those uh, in, involved in the training education sector. Thank you very much. And congratulations. The man responsible for delivering the goods, the work-ready young people that industry needs, is Nick Cox, the learning manager. When you're looking at the, the changes in technology as well with the hybrid technology, which is something that we'll be moving into, um, that's, that's going to have a massive impact on, on employers and students. When they see the facilities and they, they see the track record of the college, which is you know, on an upward trajectory, I think they will, they will be, be really wanting to be a part of it. And the students love it too. So much new equipment, it's easier to work with, it's all the up-to-date stuff. It's the best thing that they could do. It's worth the money. It'll help out a lot. Well, I've learned a lot today and I'm sure the young people that pass through this centre will do the same. It's truly inspirational. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you.